what's up YouTube, it's Dom here from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and today I'm back in Philadelphia, I'm back in my room and I'm going to be filming another video in 2019 and a well requested video, a series that you lot have been loving and supporting so far, it is Trips to the Thrift. So I did some research over the Christmas period and found this place called Bull Vintage in Philadelphia and basically it is a vintage clothing warehouse just outside of town that is only open on a Saturday and a Monday. So today is a Monday so I'm going to go down, my class is finished at 4 so after that I'll get the train down and we'll go check it out. But before we jump into the video be sure to hit that subscribe button and also to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every single upload I do. I'm trying to hit 40k by the end of February but anyways let's get into it. So I'm off the train now, it was like 30 minute journey outside of town, I've never been here before and basically what it is, it's like a big vintage warehouse, I don't know if you can buy singly or in bulk, I don't know what to expect, but it closes at 6 and it's like quarter past 4 now, so hopefully all the good stuff isn't gone, but anyways, on to bulk vintage. <laughs> This is completely different. Basically, when you come in, you have to sign in and you basically get given a basket and you get given a rug. And basically, this whole room is just full of cardboard boxes that are labeled and they're just full of clothes. So you got like silk dresses, silk blouses, tuxedo shirts. So now I'm going to head in and see what there is to offer. Perfect start. We've got the North Face in Patagonia and the Polo Ralph Lauren and Nautilus. These are the best stuff you can find. Rummage through here, chuck everything onto the floor so it doesn't get dirty, and then whatever I want, I'll put in that basket. I found this old school Tommy Hilfiger knitwear, the old logo. I found a Ralphie quarter zip, simple black. Then we found this yellow nautical t shirt right there. And we found this multicolored Ralph polo, and we also found nautical knitwear. And then last but not least we found a purple Ralph Lauren quarter Fortunately in the Patagonia North Face there was literally just all black North Face fleeces. There was no Patagonia and they were all small sizes or a little bit dirty. So I basically left on them. But now I'm going to move further on and check out the rest of the boxes. Got Gap. Got. Hopefully I'll find like a vintage pair of Tommies. We've got Lee. There's a good quality Lee jeans. And these are a vintage light wash denim. Let's check the size. We do a custom on them. We do not have the size on them. Let me check. Do not have the size on them. <laughs> We've got a pair of unbranded Liz Authentic. Does anyone know that size? We have a pair of <laughs> nice embroidery. So here's my fit wearing the vintage Tommy coat, beige and a trousers, and then we've got the Air Force ones. So right here we've got the faux suede and faux fur. If you want that vintage Macklemore look, vintage track jacket. So we've got the leather section. Then we also have the corduroy section. Some of these pieces feel amazing. We have the kind of vintage, I don't know what you call these soccer, I don't even know what you call these jerseys, but it's got like the leather sleeves and then you've got like the nice thick wool I think the material is but very very sick college I don't know what you'd call them and then we have the full tartan section we have the blazers we have the army section we have the ski jacket this place literally has everything Military camo pants, good for the fancy dress, or if you just want that festival look. But this piece, this whole section is like military sections, like the cotton military car khaki shirts. Then we have the military camo shirts. This one's pretty sick. It's like a digital camo. Is that a shirt or is that pants? Section we have the overalls. I actually really want to get a pair of the kind of car hearty kind of beigey colour overalls. I've actually got a pair of Tommy ones, I still haven't done a fit with them yet. We've got some pretty sick ones, we've got the American print, this is actually hand painted, it actually feels pretty sick. So right here we've got the kind of workers pants and the painters pants, so it's basically going to be full of, as you can see right here, Carhartt pants, thick heavyweight pants, heavy duty for work, it's got the nice colour right there, that is Wrangler, and then in here we have, let's see, 
as you can see right here we have the Dickies pants I've actually never seen this colour pair of Levi's it's kind of like a khaki washed out green I actually really like them if they're in my size I'd cop them basically like my beige ones right here the same wash but these ones are like a khaki green the Levi's tab right there but these are Oh shit, they are my size 34, 34. Might have to cop these. This place literally has everything 70s to 80s pants. We've got pinstripes, we've got work pants, then we've got 70s to 80s poly pants, we've got corduroy pants. You know, corduroy's in, and I just recently got a pair of corduroy Tommy pants. We've got the pine green right there, very similar to like the Magnus Ronin new collection. We've got tuxedo pants, we've got 40s to 60s. Literally, you can get anything here from fancy dress, everything. I know Christmas has just gone but perfect these big chunky thick knitwear it's kind of similar to like the Ada era patterns nice and thick cable net fisherman sweaters How beautiful this Harley Davidson jacket is on display. Nice patch that look like embroidery racing. And then I think it has a print on the back too. I might actually ask how much this is because this piece is honestly insane. Next two boxes we've got the branded champion and we have got the Adidas Nike and Pumas. So I hope they'll find some good stuff in these two boxes too. We just came across this Looney Tunes Jordan T. I think this is from Space Jam extra large right there it's like a purple i'm gonna hold on to this we just found this six steelers hoodie in the five dollar section it's got a bit of bubbles but you can trim these it's got a little stain there and a little stain here so i don't know whether i'm gonna cop for five dollars that's so cheap so this huge heap right here is all just a mixture of vintage harley tees as you know you might have seen it in my recent pickups i picked up some vintage harley tees and marlboro tees i really like the graphics on these t-shirts hopefully as well I might find a single stitch you never know it's got some nice screen prints then on this side we got like the mickey mouse and all the disney stuff and then here we have the college sweatshirts this box right here is the buffalo bill sweatshirt this is basically an nfl team if you didn't know and if you remember my toronto vlog i basically found a split sweatshirt so this is just full of loads of buffalo bill stuff and this has just got a sick embroidery right here nice red neck collar i think i'm going to cop this depending on the price all these bill sweatshirts they have a sick embroidery this nice red oversized one right here and they're all nine dollars i also found this one right here kind of similar to the color of my split one this place is literally just a thrift heaven. I definitely recommend going and checking it out if you ever come to Philly. Look how much stuff is everywhere. I don't know how they even deal with putting all this stuff around everywhere. And they're constantly unfilling boxes. This is literally just like the menswear section. Then you come all the way around here and we have, see that we have jumpers, we have denim vests. We literally have everything, hippie tapestry vests, denim tops, women's western. We come through here, it's more of the women's section. We have like ponchos got 60s to 70s 40s to 60s that's very very vintage we've got all the vintage jackets right here and then we've got all the women's like dresses blouses literally pretty much everything well look how wavy this piece is i found in the five dollar section we've got cards all over we've got the big ace of hearts it should be the ace of spades that's the main card we've got jokers we've got look literally every single card and then i think these are coins as well it's a mad piece i kind of wish it i'm gonna try it on see if it fits me literally so so wavy i've just seen the colors of this jacket and i already know what it is i can tell by the heavyweight it's definitely a carhartt or a dickies and i've been looking for one of these for ages it's the one with the corduroy collar shit and it's got the carhartt logo what size is it unfortunately it's double xl man i've been looking for one of these literally for ages in my personal collection i wanted one some literally so heavyweight keep you warm nice corduroy collar i've got another one here it's definitely carhartt again but this one is a hoodie unsure on the size and i'll try it on quickly literally so frustrating i found three more some of them were double xl then i found this one and do you know what it's too fucking small so so annoying treat look how many i've searched through and not one of them is my size i found this black one right here that i'm wearing right now it's so nice but once again it's just a little too big i don't know if you can see me right there but yeah it's just a bit too big unfortunately Heart sat on the beige and I couldn't find one my size. I found this blue one perfectly my size. I just wish it was the beige one. 
tempted to cop this. Such a nice piece. I've finished a bolt vintage and I'm currently at the train station because when I went outside, it was literally completely dark. And right here, we have this full sack of goodies right there. Loads, loads of pieces. In total, I think I spent $90, which is about 70 pounds. And I think I got around 10 items, maybe 12 items. So per item, it's very, very cheap. But now heading back to mine to showcase all the pieces. So back from Bolt Vintage, it's night time now, so I've got the lighting on and I've got this bag full of goodies, so let's just get into it. So the first pickup I've got, it is a college hoodie, it is champion and it's reverse weave, so it's the heavier, thicker quality. Nice oversized, extra large, I really like the colorway, it's like a navy and then the text is kind of like goldy. It says, if that's how you pronounce it, not heard of it, college, and then it's got a nice patch on the sleeve really nice embroidery and the quality of it's just amazing and it's literally got no stains whatsoever and then we have the standard champion c i just really like how it fits it's nice and oversized i'll put it on to kind of show you how it looks and i'm thinking to cut off the bottom to make it kind of like a little cropped oversized hoodie so the next piece i want to show you it is from it's a sweatshirt it's another nfl sweatshirt from the brand the team Buffalo Bills red. I wish the text was kind of in white so it'd stand out a bit more and then we have the Buffalo Bills right there. This is actually in size double XL so it's really oversized. The next piece I've got to show you this is another champion reverse weave college sweatshirt. It's really good quality but I've got this, these I don't know why this was on sale for five dollars I just thought I had to cop it. LBI I'm not sure what university or college that is and then it just has the champion C right there. No stains whatsoever. Again very heavy weight then from the first box that we had, the Nautica kind of like Tommy and Ralph one, we just got this yellow Nautica t-shirt, extra large in my size, no cracking whatsoever. Kind of like the little red print and the colors of it look really nice. Then next up we have, this is another Buffalo Bill sweatshirt, probably one of the better ones, the nice red bit on the neck and then really nice embroidery, red, the logo and then NFL in white. Don't think it has anything on the sleeves. Yeah, nothing on the sleeves, but it's in really good condition. Then next up, once again from the first box, it is just the old school Tommy embroidered right there logo. It's a nice knitwear. I'm gonna keep this for myself with the big flag right there. It'll go really well like with a white shirt underneath, kind of like a smart casual, and it'll keep me warm over the cold season. And then next up we have, this was just in the $2 bin. I know it has a few stains, but for $2, it's literally nothing. Steelers sweatshirt. I really like the patch right there. I just need to get one of them like trimmers and trim off the bobbling. And it has just the two little stains, just a nice hoodie. And then it has a kind of black lining right there, as you can see. But for $2, that is literally nothing. Then next up, I just got this for the nostalgia. I mean, what a film this was back in the day. It is this Jordan Space Jam t-shirt in the nice purple. It's extra large too, so my size, nice and oversized. And we have Michael Jordan right there and all the Looney Tunes characters. Such a good film. If you've not watched it, definitely go check it out. And then next up, once again from the first box, it is just, I worked at Ralph's. So these things actually come. In the outlet, these things went for like £65. And brand new in the actual store, these are like 85 to 90 It is just this Ralph Lauren quarter zip. And this is literally, feels pretty much brand new. It's not shrunk, the colour's not faded. Purple pony and then the nice leather tab right there. Very, very high quality. And then what else have we got? We have got, last but not least, I think it was nine items in total actually. It is the last Buffalo Bill sweatshirt. I actually might change my mind, I probably like this colour better. It's kind of like the one I have with the split sweatshirt, if you haven't seen that photo right like here. Nice embroidery once again, we've got the whites, the reds, and then on the sleeve it also has an extra bit of detail right there. But overall that is it, my nine pieces, and I think in total it was like $90 after tax, so it's about $10 per item, which I think is relatively cheap. Let me know if you want me to go there again. I'll probably go on a Saturday next time because obviously it's open Saturdays and Mondays, so probably all the good stuff goes on Saturday, and that's why. I mean, I got quite a lot of good stuff, but I thought it was going to be a little bit better. But be sure to go check them out, they're called Bulk Vintage, check out their Instagram, and if you ever want to go check it out, it is in North, North Philly, North, North East Philly, yeah, North East Philly. So it's a bit far, far from me from Westside, it's about half an hour on the Market Frankfurt line if any of you want to go check it out. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more trips to the thrifts, be sure to check out the iCard and check out my previous trips to the thrifts. Also to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to hit 40K by the end of February. And also if you enjoyed this trip to the thrift, give it a thumbs up. Leave your favorite item in the comment section down below. But overall, have a nice day. Go check out the rest of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.